All right, last act. Oh, I think it's this way. I re-memorized how to get there because I had to go looking for Rita all the time. I'm sure Rita had a much tougher time than me back then. It took forever to get to a spot where we could find the signal. And since I was also running pretty low on CRF, we had to take the long way around to avoid the corrupted objects. Did you know? Rita always went to bed later than me. Always plastered, too. <laughs> Sometimes she sketched my face while I was asleep and showed it to me later. She teased me about how stupid I looked even when I was asleep. <laughs> that day I learned why she couldn't quit drinking. Mom, hang in there. I'll get you out. Why isn't anyone helping? My mom needs help. Mom! Mom! She was covered in a cold sweat, so much so that my sleeves got soaked when I patted her head dry. I thought my boss Horizon might know something about it, so I asked her before I went to bed. Rita's mother? Yes, I didn't realize Rita talked in her sleep like that. It was more intense than usual. We may have to consider the possibility of corruption syndrome. Please don't tell her that I told you this. Rita's mother was killed in a car bombing set up by the Asinico's rivals. What? Then was Rita's mother as intimidating as she is? No, apparently she thought her husband ran a construction business. Then why would they do such a thing to her? People do whatever it takes to gain the upper hand in that line of business. Dang, so both her parents got bombed. Yeah. That sucks. They killed her dad and her mom. They must have thought it would be an effective warning to the rest of the gang members. We even turned your boss's wife to ash. What do you think we could do to your family? Oh, that's messed up. Boss, I'd like to help Rita. Of course, you're trying your best already. But I always seem to get in trouble and make life harder for her. Rita says she's fine, but she's never said a word about how much she's been suffering. Then I have a good idea. You could go to the bar with her. The bar? Just sitting next to her will be enough. Rita can't share her feelings without a little liquid courage. That's true. <laughs> that would be nice. Although, given the circumstances, I doubt it'll ever happen. I never thought I'd hear you express such skepticism. I'm not so optimistic to think everything will work out. If I hadn't met Rita, I'd still be working day and night, hoping my parents would tell me I'm doing a good job. That's why I never give up, as long as there's even the tiniest chance. I could give up whenever I want. But while I still have the energy, I got to try. You're a very strong person, Dash. Why don't you get some shut-eye? I'll keep watch. That night, I dreamed of our office. It was me, Rita, and Horizon. They were congratulating me for selling all my debts. And it was so tasty, the sponge cake I had in the dream. Whoa. Check out that building. It's nothing like the ruins we saw. You're right. So it is. Stop being so stubborn and lean on me, Rita. I'll prop you up. You keep stumbling. There you go, nagging me again. I can walk just fine on my own. Take care of yourself. Hmm. Based on the architecture, this appears to be an exploration outpost constructed right after the Grand Purification War. An outpost? Why would they build such a huge building all the way out here on the counterside? Those fools didn't know crap about the counterside back then. Even a sturdy building like this would succumb to corruption rays given enough time. It's as Rita said, otherwise we wouldn't need to bother relying on such cumbersome ships out here. So, I guess that means the building might be crawling with COs? It'll be weirder if it wasn't. Still, it's worth checking out. If the communication equipment still functions, we should be able to send an SOS all over the counterside. 
You're right. You should stay here where it's safe. I'll lead the way from here. Hang on, kid. Yes? Are you sure you're going to be okay on your own? Eh. Huh? Why do you look so surprised? I never heard you be so sweet with me. I'm not dreaming, am I? Don't let it get to your head. Anyone would be worried after seeing all the trouble you've caused. You'll be at a disadvantage if you fight inside the building. Draw them outside, no matter what. Heh <laughs> I feel so energized hearing your advice for some reason. Well, I'll be right back. Oh, I'm so scared. Why the sudden change in temperament, human? Have hunger and thirst affected your reason? Let me ask you something, Horizon. Could I ever replace her garbage parents? Not in a million years. What? Why not? You could hardly keep your word about going sober. And you're speaking of parenting? I guess you're right. <laughs> she does have a drinking problem, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you could be her sister, even though you argue all the time. Sister, huh? Upon the tribulations, ye shall become our sister. Man, shut up. Ye shall become our sister. Become our sister. What's wrong, Rita? You've grown so pale all of a sudden. It's nothing. I'm probably just parched, as you said. I haven't had anything to drink. I'll never let anyone take her. Never. Oh, we're just going into a fight. All right. It's okay. Dash has the replace your king back yeah. in Europe. And she got two healers. <laughs> <laughs> Rita, did you see that? I pulled it off all by myself this time. Yeah, I saw. So you managed to improve a little after being nothing but a troublemaker. That was good work back there. Ooh, was that a compliment just now? No, maybe you're just hearing things just like me. <laughs> but that can't be. I could have swore I heard you say it. You don't give up, do you? Think whatever you like. Runs away! <laughs> Oh, Rita, wait for me! <laughs> Whoa. This must be the control room. It's in better shape than I thought. But it's a wreck! It's something you learn from dealing in the black market. Equipment made during the war was built to be as rugged as it looked. In this state, it should be good to go with little repair. But you're almost out of CRF, Rita. It'll take days to repair manually. Don't worry, kid. I may not be able to summon Armurda, but I saved enough CRF for this sort of work. Really? Yeah, it made the long walk suck that much more, but at least I won't have to just sit back and watch. So you had a plan all along. I just came along without giving much thought. Now give me some space, will you? How long will it take to analyze the damage, Horizon? As you suggested, the internal structure is relatively simple enough. It shouldn't take long. The only problem is the few sophisticated components like the computation device. Such a meticulous task may place too much strain on you in your current condition. You simply don't have enough CRF to control the process. Then what should we do? Don't freak out just yet. It just so happens one of us has a few spares we could use. Spares? You mean... The boss? Oh no! <laughs> Precisely, they're inside me! No, boss, you'll die if we take them out! She won't die. I won't die. We can just hold on to her memory unit. Her original body's undergoing repairs anyways. Oh, I see. I thought taking parts from you would kill you. Without the memory unit, I suppose I would undergo something similar to what you call death. But like you said, Dash, we can always give up when we feel like it. <laughs> For now, we'll just have to try whatever we can. Okay. If you're done lecturing like an old fart, get started, Horizon. I don't think we can afford to delay any longer. Actually, I already knew everything. But I didn't let on. Rita is more considerate than she seems. I figured she must have a reason why she wouldn't tell me the truth about my parents. So I just thought she'd tell me about them one day. Did you just hear that, Rita? Yup, it's a tyrant. Probably one of the jerks that took out the ships. 
I didn't think we'd lose them this easily, but I didn't expect them to catch up so soon either. They're pretty persistent considering there's nothing to eat here except two people and one can of junk. <laughs> In addition to the Category 3 CO, I detected multiple corruption ray signatures headed our way. Given their current speed, they'll catch up to us even if we leave right away. This isn't good. We'll need time to lock onto the signal even if we finish repairs. I'll try to buy us some time, Rita. What? No, that's suicidal. Who do you think you are, General Antonov? <laughs> I'm no General Antonov. But I'm the only one here who can fight right now. You'll die if we linger in the counterside much longer. True, but you still have a shot at making it back alive. Go hide yourself somewhere. I'll get this machine running again. You'll manage to survive long enough if you don't engage them. Hide as long as you can until the rescue team gets here. I'm not leaving without you. How could you remain so calm when you could die from the syndrome any second now? Don't you want to go back alive too? I want to make it back home, no matter what. And for all of us to go back together, I have no choice but to fight. Wait, kid. You can't take them on by yourself. Ah. Heh, heh. Darn it. I can't even keep up with the kid. <coughs> You're finished, Rita. It was so cold and dark in that sea. How is it there? Get lost! Go away! What's done is done! What do you expect me to do now? I was just... It's just that... Rita, hallucinations are key symptoms of the corruption syndrome. Given your current condition, we'll just have to count on Dash. As for you, focus on completing the repairs. But she's still just a kid, Horizon. We can't just count on her and hope all is well. I'm supposed to protect her. Who's she talking to in her hallucination? I think it's Pistachio. I think Pistachio's playing some mind games. Yeah, Pistachio's doing a pretty good job mind-fucking Rita right now. I had fought COs a few times before then. I used to sneak out the corrupted areas to forage for valuables among the victims to make an extra buck. But I never fought so many COs until that day. I feel nauseous, but it's too early to give up now. My arms are sore. Dangler never felt so heavy. Huh? A tyrant? It cut off my escape route. No! That's when I realized what it means to have your legs go weak from fear. That category three I faced all by myself was too big and too scary. I would have collapsed on the spot if I didn't have Dangler to keep me propped up. Don't tremble, Dash. Stop shaking. Rita's probably doing her best right now, too. Don't be scared. All I need to do is buy some time. It's not impossible. Even if it's a Category 3, you can do this, Dash. How's she gonna escape? <coughs> Good. I'm almost done. That darn kid never listens to me. Always smiling like a dork while I clean up after her. I'm sick and tired of it now, Horizon. Someone's got to teach that kid a brutal lesson one day. Then she'll finally realize what she can handle. Having said that, I never meant for her to die in a dumpster like this. There, the emergency power should hold for the time being. Mayday, Mayday, this is Mayday signal broadcast on the administration designated shortwave line. We have two individuals stranded in the counterside. I'm sending out the coordinates along with this message. I repeat, this is a Mayday broadcast on the administration designated shortwave line. Come in, anyone, hurry! Darn it. I know, with the way back sealed, it's tough to imagine anyone would come get us this deep. Even with two ships down, they'll think twice about sending out a rescue crew, not knowing what threats lurk here. How the hell am I supposed to tell the kid this? But still, please come in. Anyone. 
I'll do anything you ask, so please save the kid. Just the kid. Indeed, despair is a halbilliment best worn by ye petty mortals. What? <laughs> Who's the Shakespeare? Could it be the shadow from the dream? Aye, tis I, ye fool. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> it's me, pistachio. <laughs> Rejoice, for I have arrived to welcome the one to be liberated by the king's blessing. You're nothing but a dirty CO. Damn. <laughs> Take a bath. She said you nasty. But you managed to jam my signals. You said so yourself, have you not? You acknowledge what a foolish endeavor it is to hope for rescue from an abyss such as this. Your trial near is end, mortal. Now, acquiesce to the inevitability of its conclusion. My trial? Were you the one who drove all those CEOs here? Aye. What are you, a pirate? Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> it was but a paltry detachment of a much grander force I prepared. Even so, your desperate tantrum proved to be an outstanding entertainment. Even the king was pleased. Shut up! Your words remain undaunted, even without the power of your counterwatch. See if your parlor tricks can save the child now. It was always evident that you could not save the child. Just as it was clear that you would drive yourselves to the brink of destruction as you are now. Why? Why the hell are you doing this to us? What do you plan to do with the kid? She shall be reassembled to replace our sister whom the wayfarer has taken from us. The mm. sister to faithfully obey the master's will. Mm, so Morris killed one of the sisters. What? For eons, the great demon lord, Dagirion, has long desired to restore your wretched world to its former glory. But the sisters who must aid the king's endeavor are far too few in number. Thus we shall reassemble ye mortals into exalted beings who may carry out the king's will. I couldn't care less about this demon lord of yours, but you're basically just trying to make more shadows like you, huh? Then can't you just take anyone else, anyone else but the kid? Oh my god. <laughs> Darn it! What? There's nothing here. What just hit me? Insolent fool, you dare question the king's decision. It's far too easy for me to make you writhe in agony as you expire. That sound. Is the kid? Ah, uh, I can hear it. A scream so succulent that I can almost touch it. Ew. Ew. I shall grant you the honor of watching helplessly as the child begs for her life and falters. Does it have to be the kid? Could you take me instead? Oh. Are you pleading for the blessing of your own accord? How foolish. I don't care if it's foolish or not, as long as the kid is safe. Be grateful, ye petty mortal. The king is pleased by your submission. The king will be eager to see you, if you shall indeed achieve what you desire. Raise your head and behold, this is the sister that shall become complete through you. That crystal, I thought I broke it. Do you truly think an object blessed with the king's will would break so easily? Now, this will be extremely painful, but it shall also bring you terrifying ecstasy. What? What? What was that? What's that cutscene? <laughs> Damn you, Wilbur! You're always a step behind, ye filthy wayfarer. How did you like the beast I summoned for you? You've made a mockery of her. So the child was nothing but a hostage all along. You dwell among the mortals, yet you haven't learned a thing about them. These mortals always respond on impulse when it comes to the well-being of those they hold dear. If you leverage that, even the tiniest prod can sufficiently topple any resistance. As for the woman... How beautifully she chirped as she was reassembled. What? 
Their only crime is that they unwittingly drew Thygerion's attention, and yet you jest as if their suffering was but child's play. Have I not told you, Wayfarer, the king's plans are inevitable. If the king finds their petty lives pleasing, there is no greater glory for these mere mortals. Tell me, is that behavior truly fitting of a self-proclaimed king? To soil the souls of innocent and turn them into puppets? Wow, Moore is actually speaking straight facts right now. Why couldn't you do that earlier, yeah, Moore? I couldn't understand you. You weren't speaking English. Yeah, you should have just been like, yo, this is a bad idea. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> kill Wilbur right now. Yeah, kill Wilbur. <laughs> Blasphemous fool. Do you really think you're still in the position to lecture thusly? When the king proceeds, you shall finally perish into oblivion once and for all. That really packed a punch. If I block one more time, Dangler could break. What should I do? Am I really so useless I can't do anything on my own? That's not true. I'm going to do this no matter what. I... I know everything. I know what kind of people my parents were and why Rita took me with her. That's why I can't back down just yet. It worked! That didn't look like it worked. <laughs> Ow! Ugh. I guess it didn't work after all. I only made it angrier. <coughs> no, I have to get up. I can't give up yet. Stick close to the furnace. It's cold. <laughs> it's super warm with this blanket around me. Aren't you cold? Want to share my blanket? Forget it. What kind of counter gets cold anyways? Oh my god! What? No! Just a little more. Take this, kid. What is it? It looks like some sort of armor. It's a protection suit. I snagged it from some fool who couldn't cough up this much cash. You're always going about causing trouble. You won't last long in this line of business if you keep hurting yourself. Ah, oh, that suit didn't do shit! I'm sorry, mm. Rita. I have been but a burden to you. What? The tyrant is down? Wait a minute. Oh, man. I wish you wouldn't be so rough with her, you stupid beast. She's my property. You. Sorry to keep you waiting, kid. So there's another tyrant. Wait, what the? What the? Wait, you're Rita? Yeah. She said she was reassembled. Into Ministra? Pistachio wanted to get a sister. Wait a minute. So the time that Ministra died because of Mina. Oh my god, my head hurts. <laughs> I'm just like, was Ministra al already Rita by the time Mina and them was fighting Ministra? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh my to... god. Okay. I just looked at this and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So there's another tyrant, huh? Do they really think outnumbering us will do them any good? Go take a break over there, kid. <laughs> I'll protect you. She's talking the same way, though. <laughs> what in the world? Holy shit. That's Rita! What's gonna happen? I don't know. I gotta know what happens though. I know! <laughs> Wilbur! <laughs> it's all because of Wilbur! Wilbur! <laughs> Wilbur, you shithead. Oh my god, what? Category 3, huh? That was ridiculously easy. So is this what she meant by becoming a sister? I definitely feel like I've become something special. Although it was agonizing, when the crystal dug into my body... Ah... Uh, uh... Get yourself together, kid. Look around. There aren't any COs left. Rita? Is that really you, Rita? Yeah, though I guess I can't blame you for not believing me, given how I look. 
It doesn't suit me very well, does it? Oh, it does. <laughs> you look great, Rita. Like always, you're beautiful. <gasps> oh, she's so nice. Oh, that's so wholesome. <laughs> Hang in there. I'll tend to your wounds. You'll be all better in no time once you've been reassembled. No! What the? That's what the memories in my head are whispering. Shut up! <laughs> Rita? I'm sorry for not listening to you. I'm sorry. Don't be. Just as you liked me just the way I am, even when I reeked of booze, I didn't think you were half bad either. We have arrived at the coordinates sent with the Mayday message. We will now begin the search. High intensity corruption ray detected. I've never seen this type of wave before. Intel suggests two other rescue ships previously went down here. Stay frosty, everyone. We got company. I better get going. Rita, are you really leaving? Don't go. I'll persuade them. No, look at her. <laughs> I'll tell them that you're not an evil shadow. <laughs> she looks hella evil, bro. <laughs> Sorry, but that's going to change real quick. This crystal. Whoa. That was the first time I seen animation like that. This crystal is feeding my mind with all sorts of new memories. In time, there will be no Rita anymore. After all, I was only meant to be a vessel for something else. Holy moly. Rita. Take care of Horizon, will you? She's a lot better off now. Take care of yourself, too, even when I'm not around. We found one. She's suffering from extreme malnutrition. Prepare a bed in the infirmary. And that's how my story ends. Pretty pathetic, right? I ended up turning myself into a monster on a whim. I guess this is a bit of a buzzkill for a bar story. Why did you lie at the end? What makes you say that? How can you be so sure? You did indeed turn into a shadow. Codename Ministra, an extremely dangerous specimen confirmed to have slaughtered at least five counters Possibly many more. <laughs> My employees were able to defeat you during a mission. Okay, so that was her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to say it was easy. Without a bit of luck and a series of coincidences, I would have lost many promising operatives that day. Fine, I'm not going to bother arguing against any of that at this point. Although I do find it suspicious that I'm not dead, if what you suggested is true. So, why do you think I lied anyway? There is one more shadow that always appeared with Ministra. According to the operation logs, she cried that she wanted to go home as she attacked my employees. Home? Her code name is Spira. The administration speculates that Ministra reassembled her into a shadow. So I suggest you set this one thing clear once and for all. Ah. You've lied to yourself all your life after all. You had to lead the life of a criminal as a member of your family. You didn't have a choice. That was your entire world back then. And then you became a cold-hearted loan shark after that. But you yourself wasn't always so cold-hearted. And then when you became a shadow, you were Ministra. Wandering across the countersite with your personality reassembled by someone else to suit their desires. I... I could have sworn. Oh, it looks like we have company. You might want to greet them yourself. Category 3, huh? That was ridiculously easy. So is this what that jerk meant by becoming a sister? I definitely feel like I've become something special. Although it was agonizing when that crystal dug into my body. Eh. Get yourself together, kid. Look around. There aren't any COs left. Rita? 
Yeah, though I guess I can't blame you for not believing me, given how I look. It doesn't suit me very well, does it? But you look like a shadow. Have you become a shadow, Rita? Because of me? You seem to be on guard. I understand how you feel. I was once mistaken, like you. I thought corrupted objects were nothing but monsters. But I was wrong. Oh, no, nah, you crazy. Oh, Look at no. that. She crazy, man. Run. <laughs> you see, I feel fantastic right now. I'm not worried about anything. No more pain and suffering. I wish I could share this with you. Oh, no, you crazy. What's the point of going back to the normal side anyway? The world is full of selfish jerks who betray you in a heartbeat to get what they want. But this place is different, Dash. There's nobody here. It's just us two. Rita, snap out of it. We were supposed to make it out of here alive, together. I'm going to go back to the company with you in Horizon, no matter what. Horizon Finance is my home. Oh god, she angry. Look at her. You scumbag. Kid, you really shouldn't lie. You useless fool, always running that mouth of yours. Because right now, I can clearly hear how you feel. Criminal, murderer, you ripped me apart from my parents, hypocrite. You're thinking of going back to those scumbag parents of yours, aren't you? No, Rita, you're hearing things in your head. Ugh, I'm so sick of you, why are you still alive? I should have just dropped you back then, shameless punk. Right, you probably never gave a darn about me. You'd have nothing to do with a dirty criminal like me once you paid off your debt. Rita, please! Shut up! Rita! I'm tired of it now. Tired of getting anxious by myself. You can rebuild her. It's not the end just because she's broken. Right, I don't need to put up with this anymore. I can make her listen only to me by reassembling her. Oh, Lord. Rita, I can't let you hurt other people. Is that right? How come? Because I know. You always use your CRF as an excuse. Because I know deep down you abhor fighting. That's why I'll stop you. So you won't have to suffer anymore. Dang, she actually gonna try to fight her? Aw, oh, Dash, you can't do shit! Ah, but with my team, yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, we're playing the king! <laughs> hey, she's kinda clapping you. I know, that's what I was thinking just now. I'm getting clapped right now. Those dogs are clapping my cheeks, you saw that? Eepish code! Why are you dozing off already, kid? The sun hasn't even set. Here's a can of coffee. Drink it. I got it from the vending machine on the way. Oh, thank you, Rita. Wow, it's so sweet. My tongue almost feels numb. I know. I figured a sweet tooth like you would enjoy it. Oh, right. I had the strangest dream. Dream? Yep, you turned into a shadow, but I defeated you to turn you back to normal. Oh no. I don't think that's what happened. I don't think that's what happened, Dash. <laughs> it was such a spectacular adventure. I even had to carry you around because you got wounded along the way. So you've always thought of me as some helpless, pathetic fool, huh? Huh? No, I didn't mean anything like that. I'm just messing with you, kid. Don't freak out. Really? I'm not so narrow-minded that I'll get mad over some dream. Anyway, you didn't forget about our plans today, did you? Plans? Oh, right, we're supposed to go to your favorite bar together after my birthday. It's got a nice vibe, although I guess you'll just sip on milkshakes anyway. Hehe, <laughs> you seem really excited. Oh, shut up. It's just because Horizon sucks as a drinking partner. Hehe. <laughs> By the way, is it snowing outside? Don't be ridiculous. It's all sunny outside. But it's too... Oh, shit. Cold. Oh, my God. Rita. I want to go home. 
Yes, my precious sister. I'm afraid I've torn you apart. But it's partly your fault for resisting so much. With you wriggling around like that, you forced me to get a little rough. There's no need to be anxious, though. How does this arm look? I got it from a mercenary that had the gall to attack me. I'll get it perfect, just for you. You'll love how beautiful it is. Oh my god, she's crazy! Once it's been reassembled with you. Oh my god! Yikes. <laughs> oh my god. This is too much. Oh my god. What? For the viewers, Elizabeth is crying. <laughs> Tears of shock. Tears of what the fuck? But that one, that one panel, that was so bad. Oh my god. Rita, is that really you? Kid. But how did you get here? I kept wandering around in an unfamiliar place, but then this lady I'd never met before led me here. Right, I see. Hey, do you remember how we promised to go to my favorite bar? Yes, it was right here, I remember. I came by a few times to take you back to the office when you got trashed. <laughs> I was going to tell you everything here, about how sorry I am for never being kind to you, for not teaching you better, for not providing a better environment for you, and for getting you involved in that mess. I wanted to be a proud grown-up, at least in your eyes, but it turned out I was just full of it. I never got to do anything nice for you. No, Rita. Actually... I've been too shy to tell you something as well, you see. As tough as the going got sometimes, my life at the company was much happier than before. So to me, you were the best grown-up I could ask for. I only wish I could have told you this sooner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shed. Hehe, <laughs> don't cry, Rita. We're here at this bar now, as promised. Go away, tear fairy shoe! By the way, do you know this gentleman? Wait a second. Were you trying to set me up with this kid all along? What choice did I have? She said she'd never rest in peace if I didn't arrange this. Well, now I've done my part. I'm out of here. Hang on, please! Huh? Thank you for taking good care of Rita. Um, may I buy you a drink to thank you? Just like I heard, she is much more mature than you, isn't she? Hmm. Choose your poison, then. I'll have a milkshake. Whiskey for me. Single barrel bourbon. Excellent choice. Task completed. Oh my god, this is my first time seeing her, though. No karma levels detected. Structural changes confirmed. Alternium refining process completed. You may now mass refine Eternium into Alternium. It worked. Incredible. I was wondering why the administration kept buying Eternium marked for disposal. The replacer incident in the Terracide system were they all part of a grand plan to make this? Pretty much. But that's not all there is to it. I may be an administrator or the CEO, but I'm just a man in the end. There are so many things I cannot control in this world. So the least I could do is maybe grant a final respite to the victims of twisted fate. How many times have you done this exactly? You say you bring them respite but you're really experiencing the pain and despair the victims endured right before dying. Most folks would go crazy after a couple tries. I've done it many times. But they were all worth it. This alternium is the rock of salvation that took the resolve of countless people across countless worlds to complete, not just me or the administration. I see. Well, I better get back to work then. 
Someone made an offer to buy the Eternium from Ministra and Spirit at a premium. Sorry, but they're not for sale. I know. But I also believe people have the right to know about the final respite their family's members reclaimed. I see. Then I'll leave that to you. As for you, Rita and Dash, I hope you rest in peace now. I see. So Rita and Dash failed to return after all. I'm sorry you had to hear this. The attorney extracted from them has been marked for disposal and collected by the administration. All I can give you is your memory unit recovered after engagement with Ministra. It's okay. I am a machine. Unlike humans, I do not know how to reminisce about others based only on their belongings. I've already disposed of Rita's desk and Dash's ledger. I see. Then why did you offer to purchase the Eternium for them? To bear responsibility. As their employer, I have a contractual obligation to ensure their safety, and I failed to honor that obligation. The least I can do is follow suit with due diligence. Before those two joined the company, Horizon Finance was notorious for its intense business operations. I didn't hesitate to resort to more aggressive measures to ensure timely collection. But in order to do so, I needed a stable source of power. The sole reason I sought to purchase the Eternium from you was to secure such a power source. But the price you offer was well above the market price. I didn't realize a machine could make such an irrational decision. You seem like an astute businesswoman. So let me ask you this. Are your actions always driven by reason? Well, I guess not. Very well. I get what you're trying to say. I'm just disappointed our first deal has to come to such an incomplete end. Do let us know if you require our services in any other way. I'm sure our president would be supportive of our efforts to preserve our clients' confidence in us. Oh my god. If you ever come across the whereabouts of a human named Wilbur, please let me know. Yeah! Oh my god, yeah! Oh, Horizon's gonna collect some debt. Oh, shit. Wilbur. Oh, I can't wait till she sees Wilbur. If Wilbur did not kick them down, this shit wouldn't have happened. I would be pissed. <laughs> I am pissed. <laughs> he went off the grid after his return from the counterside. You can count on us. We'll find him no matter what, even if he's hiding in the deepest reaches of the abyss. Oh, now, now Coffin Company's looking for Wilbur? Shit. Yeah, he man. Oh, my God. Oh my yeah, god, man. I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're back, gentlemen. We're back in the normal side. It's nothing but green pastures from us here on out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Wilbur. <laughs> Come on, why the long face, everyone? Did you get dive sickness or something? Listen, boss man. Let's go back. It's not too late. I still feel guilty about leaving the captain behind. Eh, <sighs> girl's spying already. You want to drag this old junk of a ship back to hell after barely getting it off the ground? Fine, let's assume we're crazy enough to do that. What exactly will you do back down there? If anything, it'll only increase the number of folks to split the spoils with, meaning less for you. Oh my god, what an asshole. I know. Think about it. Look at all that Eternium. If you split it among you, you could drop this mercenary work and get a brand new start. Sure, but... Come now, we can't afford any more chatter. We've got to get the artifacts and Eternium somewhere safe. There's no telling what sort of hyenas will sniff their way here. Oh, Wilbur, perfect timing. P professor how did you... Haha, <laughs> it wasn't so hard predicting where you would be surfacing. After all, our society arranged for you to take this ship in the first place. What? 
In any case, you sure brought many interesting trinkets back from the counterside. Uh... Very well, I'll take this opportunity to make myself clear once and for all. All this here, it's all my achievement alone. You've got nothing to do with this. Remember how you censored me when I said I'd go on this expedition? Now look, these artifacts prove I was right all along. Let's see if you can lecture me like before. Oh, Wilbur, Wilbur. Why are you so foolish? Have I taught you nothing? What? What are you talking about? Oh my god. The institution got a whiff of this. Sir Burnett's successors, I suppose. Uh-oh. You were on a truly astonishing adventure, Wilbur. But you were so blinded by materialistic avarice that you missed the truly amazing treasures right next to you. What are you talking about? Look at all this. They're all artifacts. Each and every one of them will fetch any price I name. Fetch any price you name? <laughs> oh my god. No! That's Horizon's kill. Leave him alone. Oh yeah. Horizon's got to kill this dude. Come on, boss. We've got a situation outside. Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh, oh my god. Oh! Eep! Ah! The proper way to describe them is priceless. It almost makes me sick to think that you were once under my tutelage. A scholar who cannot tell the difference between materialism and the true desire for knowledge is no better than an animal. You, uh, darn it. <laughs> Oh my, you've wet yourself. Perhaps you should return to the basics and start with potty training. Ooh, oh. get roasted. Oh, get burned. Fuck you, Wilbur. Yeah, shit yourself too. <laughs> you suck. Stay back. Leave me alone. There's someone who I'd like you to meet. The society also supports this meeting. I hope you'll humor us. Ooh. Oh my god, what? So the society kidnapped him? He has to be still he alive. He has to be still alive because this Horizon versus Wilbur is gonna be lit. And they said the next event is like more emotional damage? I know! How can it get more than this? This is crazy. Like, I don't know how it's gonna get more emotional when Dash and Rita already died. <laughs> Le leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a like if you hate Wilbur. Yeah, like the video if you hate Wilbur as much as we do, and you're ready for him to get clapped by Horizon. Leave a comment and let us know what your thoughts are, and subscribe if you can. But thanks for watching, and we'll be ready to cry with you next time. Bye! <laughs>